Hi friends, and in this video we will be seeing the remaining two of the classification matrices with examples. And we will see here confusion matrix and classification report. So let's start it. Now the confusion matrix, the name is confusion, but it is a little easy to understand. Uh, first see the x-axis and the y-axis. Here, these are the predicted values or predicted positive and negative values by our algorithm. And these are the actual cases. So what happens here is true positive. This means that these cases are being or classes are being correctly identified by my algorithm. When I come to false positive, this means that my algorithm is incorrectly identifying certain prediction for a certain class. So that's why it's false. But they were correct, but my algorithm is classifying it as false. Next coming to false negative. Now this is incorrectly rejected for a certain class. My algorithm is incorrectly rejecting for a certain class. Next I come to true negative. That means certain cases are correctly rejected for a certain class. Okay. So let's see this with the help of an example of IRIS data set. Now I have made prediction on this. The code you can find it in the below description box and also explanation in further videos. So we see, you look at this, this is a classification report. And just see the diagonal. Seven cases are being correctly identified. 10 cases are correctly identified for class two. And 11 cases correctly identified by my algorithm. So this is what I also call as precision. Okay, correctly identified by my algorithm. Now, what is this two here? This is the negatively identified class. Okay. And when I see this, this is the confusion matrix for this. And these 0, 1, 2 are these classes. Now, next come to our uh, classification report. We understand with the same example, but what does our classification report has? Our classification report contains precision, recall, F1 score, and support. So these four things are there. Now, this precision, this means that this is true positive and divided by true positive plus false positive. This means that all the fraction of the positive predictions made by my algorithm, which are correct. So this only takes into account the positive predictions made by my algorithm. The second is called recall. This is also called sensitivity or true positive rate. Now, in certain cases, recall is very important because it gives you an estimate of the missed predicted positive predictions. Suppose now, see this example of um, miss, missed predicted positive predictions. You see here the support. I explain you the support also with this. Support means that uh, the number of positive instances which lie in the class. Now, here are 7. We see 7. 12. This is 10. That means 2 are negatively classified. And here recall tells me that few instances are negatively classified by my algorithm, right? Which were true, but it is classifying it as false. Now, 11 here, we are getting 11 here. So support tells me number of positive instances that lie in a class. And this F1 score is a harmonic mean of precision and recall. So this is the formula of it. 2 into precision into recall divided by precision plus recall. So this uh, recall is um, very important in healthcare sector where you also want to know the, the false negative rate also, right? The true positive rate and the positive instances which were being classified wrongly by my algorithm. So this was precision recall, advanced score and support with the help and we understood with this help of IRIS data set and also the confusion matrix. So it's quite simple when you start applying and reasoning by yourself. And we shall see further and in, in when we do the practical analysis of this, I'll explain you further. The same concept will be devised. So no need to panic. It is easy and can be grasped over and over with your practice. And um, thank you for watching.